Hello there, I'm Colin, and welcome back to another edition of Make It Fast Mondays, where I try and put two minutes on the clock and talk about something food related as quickly as I can so as not to bore you. First of all, let's address the elephant in the room. Yeah, I got one of those quarantine haircuts. <laughs> yep, it's not great, and I'm looking forward to getting back to my regular barber, but uh, here we are. So today I want to talk about Sean Brock's South Essential Recipes and New Explorations book and see if it's something for you or not. All right. Let's get two minutes on the clock and begin. Okay, so this book is awesome because not only is it recipes and a bunch of other stuff in here, there's great stories and little technique aside. So if you're a fan of Sean Brock, Southern Cooking, or the new work that's being done with Southern Cooking, you're gonna like this book even outside of the recipes. The recipes. This is a book all about the South and cooking in the South. So if you don't live in the South, you're gonna have a hard time finding the majority of ingredients in this recipe. You can substitute. That's not the point of this book. The point of this book is to explore Southern ingredients. So either get this book and grow your own uh, veggies and get some cool seeds and participate that way, or you can order stuff online. A lot of these recipes, you're gonna have to order stuff online. Most of the things are not expensive. There's a few recipes with caviar here and there or some items like that. But as far as like gear and expensive ingredients, not really. It's mostly you just can't have to wait and order some things. Previous to COVID-19, it was said not a big deal. A couple of days, you'd be making the recipe. Just plan ahead. However, you know, knowing that things take three weeks or whatever, and that flour and beans and rice and all that is taking longer to get to us because people are buying that stuff in bulk, some of the stuff might be harder to get if you don't live where you can get this stuff all the time. I would say the techniques in here are all actually pretty simple. Almost anybody could make this food. It's just, are you gonna put in the time to gather the ingredients and to let some of the um, ingredients themselves uh, come to fruition. Some of these recipes are about fermentation that can take up to a week or a couple months. So this book is for someone who really wants to do a project is what I would say. There's only a couple meals that I would say are like weeknight meals in here. But if you love Southern cooking, you want to explore it further, you're willing to go through a couple of hurdles to try some wildly new stuff, get this book. If you want to learn all about a really interesting journey with food and Sean Brock's past, get this book. Am I like way ahead of schedule? Oh yeah, I have two seconds left, I did it. Boom, I didn't think I could do it that fast. I uh, have previously recorded a whole video talking through super in depth about this book and I just covered everything I really wanted to say in less than two minutes here. So you're welcome that that wasn't a video that you sat through. Um, you can look through some of the pictures uh, from this book if you go to Google Books and get a preview or preview it on Amazon or whatever. But yeah, I do highly recommend, recommend this book. I'll be making things um, out of this once I get my all my fermentation chamber stuff set up. I'm still working on soy sauce, which brings me to another point. I am working on the last video of equipment making before I can make the soy sauce. So I'm building a grinder right now. So that's coming. It just takes a long time and my shop isn't heated and we've gotten snow this week in Michigan. So it's taking me a little while to be getting in and out of the shop to build that and get that video ready, which is why I'm doing Make It Fast Mondays. But yeah, buy this book. It's great. I love it. It's wonderful. I hope you all have a great week. Cheers.